Hello everybody, um, I'm Trina Eliason, Director of Azurite. Uh, for those that know me, hello. Uh, for those that have never seen me, welcome to Azurite. It's getting time now, as you saw with the news today, they're mentioning international travel opening up. Um, and so I just want to do a quick video that we're going to keep in our community at all times. I'm going to go over everything you need to know before you go, when you return, why you're there. Now I know um, the account liaisons talk to you about everything and the staff talks to you, but I want you to know before you go exactly what is required of you and what is required of us, what's required in Bangkok. Because I find myself being on the... Um, the internet talking to you far too long and I think it's important that you know exactly what you're doing before you go what to expect out of us what to expect out of the team in Bangkok um, it's very exciting you're going to get surgery and you're going to have transformation and it's very very exciting but with surgery any time in your life you got to expect there could be problems there could be problems here in this country whatever country you're coming from there could arise problems there, and what do you do about it? We do everything possible on, on our uh, side um, in Bangkok to ensure your safety, but first and foremost, it's very important that you are the most responsible. We have ISO certified hospitals, so it doesn't matter how dated they look behind the scenes, let me tell you what happens. Everything's weighed, everything's documented, Everything's photographed every bit of the way. We know exactly what's happening to you, what time you went in, what surgeries were done. Pictures are all photographed, so it's not something we forget or not are uh, lost. ISO certified means that these um, strong surgery protocols are always adhered to. No matter how laid back we are, no matter how dated a hospital is, you must be assured to know that everything is in the strictest protocols while you're there. With the doctor, Dr. Thea Pong is my chief surgeon, as you all know. I use him primarily. I do use Dr. Thede as well. They are, they are colleagues. But you must know, there's nothing that goes amiss between him and I. He sees all my notes. Uh, Sammy, our nurse, we liaison, everything is documented. So you don't need to worry about anything. We're, we, I know we come across sometimes a little laid back. The doctor doesn't miss a beat. He's a very conservative doctor. And what that means, he's not going to give you extra booty. He's not going to uh, give you uh, uh, any surgery that's going to put you at risk. So if you tell him to do it and he says, no, 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 that, that is silly. Listen to the doctor. He knows best. I know a lot. My staff knows a lot. But we're just saying, first, I think the most important thing you should do, all of you, before you go, is run to a doctor locally, get a free consult, confirm that you're happy with everything. So there's, if you have any questions of what we're offering you, you need to go. It's not our job to tell you what to do. We're only helping you. We're only informing you. We help you with your nutrition. We help you with post-diet. We give you the, the, the finest surgery in the world, I, I think. We hold the highest accreditation you can possibly have for a plastic surgeon. Not a cosmetic surgeon. Not a reconstructive surgeon that is a, a, a cancer doctor that's just reconstructing breast. That is not a plastic surgeon. A plastic surgeon and reconstructive knows exactly what's going to happen and works with your body. So, get your health in order. This is your dreams. You're finally coming. You're coming down. Stop that smoking. That smoking is not. It's going to give you an infection. Stop it at least a month before. If you if you're really addicted, and nine times out of ten you'll stop afterwards. But you got to give a month on both sides so you get oxygen into that organs and so everything can give you a good, clean healing. Get off the bad diet. Get off the lack of sleep. Get yourself super, super healthy. Get out. Even if you're not a, a big gym junkie, go to the um, for a walk. 
do something so you're getting oxygen. The more oxygen you get to your, your body, the more it's going to heal. The fresher fruits and vegetables and lean protein, you're going to heal better. Get your mind clean. Don't listen to other people or, or going overseas. I would tell you without a doubt, you will not get better surgery, but it's up to you how you, you heal afterwards. Super bugs, no. We don't have super bugs. Have people call it infections, yes. But a super bug is, is different. It's very important to understand that. We are ISO. ISO means they're looking at everything. Now, can you catch it easily after you leave? Absolutely. Airplanes are the worst. Worst place for catching one. Going into a, a clinic, going into a hospital afterwards, once you're off um, antibiotics, it's very easy to catch them. And if, you're, if, if your body is limited, your immune system is not strong, you can catch things. But if you listen to us, you're not gonna catch anything. It doesn't matter even if you were exposed to one, you will fight it off and it gets rid of it. Do you understand that? Get healthy, listen to us on your diet. Get, get your exercise in. Go meditate, walk on the beach next to a lake, down the highway, I don't care, just exercise. Now, before you leave, it's your job to make sure you understand your surgeries, your job to know the expectations, your job to look it up on the internet. Understand if you're over 70 kilograms, it's more stress on your body when you have um, surgery, especially tummy tucks, you're gonna require more repair, more liposuction. If uh, you're overweight, you have more of a propensity to, to not heal as quick. The more you're healthier you are with working out, you're going to heal quicker. I don't care if you're 60, you're going to go past the 40-year-old that, that doesn't exercise. Use this time as you're changing. Your, your dreams are coming true. You remember Azurite where your dreams come true. It doesn't matter how great we are, how much I tell you what to do, how good the surgeons are, how good it is on everything if you're not taking responsibility of your health. You are in charge for post-healing, pre-healing, during healing. We're going to give you the best surgery. It's up to you. Now, what do we do on top of that? Yes, I offer you, um, our account liaisons talk to you all the time. They give you special diets. I talk to you. We give you post advice. We have personal assistants that go around and assist you. But it's still your job. Never our job. And it's your job to get our insurance. It's nothing to do with Desiree. It's nothing to do with the doctor. It's a global cosmetic surgery uh, insurance that you should uh, procure. And what it does is better than if you go in your local city. Because there's not one doctor I know in this Australia, US, wherever, does revisions free. But what that insurance does, capsular contraction, uh, so if, you, if your breasts don't drop properly, you got an infection that got out of control, something went wrong. They're gonna fly you back, they're gonna pay for the hotel, they're gonna pay for the operation and everything. So why wouldn't you get that? If I've gone out of my way to get you the best insurance in the world to protect you. Don't take, don't go cheap on the very last minute because you want to save several hundred. I think it's, I'm not 100% sure. It used to be 400 and then it was 700. Most important surgeries to, to watch out are breast. And you say, why? Because implants can get, when you're sleeping on them, can get stick up too far on one side or you can um, lift something too heavy or you're not massaging and they're not dropping properly. Those are the most important things. Uh, Tummy tuck, I'm not really concerned about, but you can get it in case you got an infection or something. But nine times out of 10, you heal, no problems with those. That's what I wanted to say is important. All full tummy tucks, extended tummy tucks, and all the way around, we do muscle repair if required, of course. And nine times, nine times out of 10, you're gonna require it. So you don't need to ask us. We're not like a, a, a company in Australia, New Zealand, or US when they're just that's an extra cost. We do it. It is mandatory. Do you understand that? We don't forget. It's always done. This done very strongly. Dr. Theopong does nice, nice incremental stitching. They're, they dissolve over several months. You're protected. I'm not quite sure, but I, I mean, it, 
the chances of popping a stitch are very, very low. And even if you did, so you go back to what you were, it's still not a big deal. But we do do, I believe Dr. Theopong has some of the finest stitching in the world. If you take care of those sutures, it's just a fine line. If you don't heal, if you stretch, if, you, if you're wearing tight jeans, you're traveling back, you got tight pants on, or anything, even underwear, if they're pressing on that sutures and you're swelling up, which you do a lot in, in Thailand, and you're swelling up and you're traveling, what are you going to have? You're going to expand. The stitches are going to move out. You start working out too early, you're grunting, expands. Why do you want to mess up your, your uh, stitching? Why would you want to eat? Uh, and I see a lot of my clients drinking way too much, way too early. You shouldn't be touching a drink the first week. And you shouldn't be getting drunk uh, uh, the first few weeks at all. You need to heal. Juice, juice, and juice. You can go down to the local vendors ha or have the uh, staff pick it up if they can. If they're not busy, buy it at the restaurant. You need to get those solid juicing and yeah i don't care if you're nauseous after with all the medications juicing doesn't compete with food in your belly so you're just going straight in it's like an irrigation system in your body all that stuff from going under general all that medication all that sludge from you laying down is just getting flushed out think of your body as getting flushed out and then all the nutrients go in and heal you then maybe, I don't know what your protein source is, but you need protein. You need either eggs or fish or chicken or vet, whatever you're getting it from, maybe a vegetarian, you need to figure it out and do it. We, we always um, have buffet breakfasts for you. That's part of your package. They're extraordinary. You can, even can have uh, sushi in the morning. Eggs. I mean, ideally, I'd like you to do a, an omelet every morning, fruit, salads, fish if you can. And then you're, you're golden for the day and do some juicing after that. But we're giving you the opportunity to change your life. Don't use this and abuse it. Don't be around smokers. Don't, don't abuse it with the alcohol. Make sure you're getting hydrated and get up and move. As soon as you have a surgery, as soon as the doctor says you can stand up, you stand up. He's no fool. He's one of the best in the world. So if he says you can stand up, you can stand up. If he says lay down, lay down. But the, the sooner you move, remember that toxic waste dump of all those medications? Move it. Get it moving. It flushes out. The, the sooner it goes in your mouth and out of your body, the, the better. If it's stagnant, it's not, you're not going to heal. It, the, the, you need oxygen to the wounds. Okay, so we covered... I want you to know exactly what surgery you should get. I want you to make sure you, you've you investigated what it happens with your weight, your age, if you're gonna have more children, if you're not, what to expect out of it. That's your job, not our job. We are gonna offer you advice. We're gonna assist you through it. We're gonna give you the best team. We're gonna team over there, but it's your job. I just had a uh, my eyelash woman she had some implants here, cheap. I think it was $8,000 on the Gold Coast. I had to help her with her wound cleaning. She was in there, she had her surgery. They shoved her out of the uh, clinic within 45 minutes. 45 minutes after having her surgery, someone had to pick her up. And she's never seen a doctor again, it's two weeks later, just for implants. She didn't even know that they were starting to sp uh, spread this way. I said, you need to push them. I looked at her wounds, sutures were healed. She doesn't even see the doctor for the post uh, to take them out. They're dissolvable. So dissolvable in that section isn't a good idea because you, they, uh, because the, the tendency to make a thicker scar. So we like to do under dissolvable, above superficial uh, with stitching, take it out. With your breast implants, generally you're to see our doctor between five and seven days. He depends. And then uh, you're there only on a 10 day package with breast. With a lift, sixth day, twelfth day, so on. He decides. Everybody heals a little different, but those are a general guideline. Don't lift things. Don't lift a big suitcase. What's going to happen? Let me explain what happens when he puts your implants in. Either he's gone through the armpit, or he's gone under here. It's very rare any other way, but he'll describe. He does it the best for you. Behind the muscle, we do the behind the muscle. And there's a reason it protects the implant. 
Uh, we're very aware that the breast cancer scares. One, of the, one out of 5,000 cases they found in the pocket, in the, in the capsular area, uh, some one out of 5,000 had a breast cancer, which generally just came right out once they removed the implant, and they thought it was allergen. There was some uh, people talking about mentor and so forth, but that's not what the doctor's paperwork is, what he shows me. If something changes, we'll let you know, but still one out of 5,000 doesn't alarm us. I have mentor, both of my girls have mentor, textured. Um, mine are 10 years. I think Allie's are about eight years. Savannah's about three or four, I believe. So if I'm not scared, you don't need to be scared. Uh, but again, it's your, it's your, it's always your choice. I go with what the doctor tells us to do and what his concerns are. He wants to protect behind the muscle. And another thing you need to understand, we don't cut your muscle, we don't tear your muscle. Especially if you had a lift because there's nothing to tear. Why would we tear? We're trying to, to lift, remove skin and push up. Now what happens when they first go in, they're at the perfect placement. They sit you up in the uh, surgery room. They look they make sure they're straight. Go back, you lay back down, you start to move around. The next day or so, the fluid starts pouring in. You got this foreign object in your body, right? Your body's trying to push this implant out and say, what is this, what is this? You had, if you had a lift, you had all that surgery done and you got swelling, fluids coming in and your body's saying, hey, implant, get out of here. <laughs> okay, anyway, they start to rise. They go up, 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 up. And then all of a sudden they're sitting hard and they're getting firm and, and you'll hear him tell you to start uh, massage. Look it up on the internet, look under our files. We have a technique uh, when to, to, uh, how to massage your breast. Your job to figure out how to do it, ask our nurses. Ask the nurse before you leave, ask the doctor, but look it up before you go. Have your post-surgery bra, have it so it brings them in, holds them firm enough, but not too much because if it's too firm, you're not getting enough uh, oxygen and, and, and movement there. So there's, there's, a, there's a, a choice that has to be made there. We, not too firm, but not too that's hanging down and bouncing around. So over the next few weeks, it's your job to push a little bit together, push down a little bit. Just keep the, ask the doctor, he'll show you. Look it up, we have a video on their files on our um, website. So imagine if you picked up something, you pull it a little bit, it's all sore here from putting an implant behind your muscles. Imagine, it's gonna be sore. It's gonna be pushed a, a little bit. It's, it's, it's tired, like major workout. Be careful, don't pick up things that are heavy. Don't sleep on your side. Yeah, you're gonna have to sleep weird in the beginning. That's life, you're gonna get a beautiful set of breasts. Take care of them. There's nothing we can do if your breasts shift Go the wrong way, don't drop. There's nothing Azurite can do. Azurite can never help you regardless. It's surgery and we're a third party, party facilitator. I cannot, my company cannot be responsible legally. We cannot and we will not. It is your job to procure insurance, your job to post heal. Doesn't matter if you're, something went wrong or this or that. The doctor does everything in his power to ensure you have a safe, non-risky surgery. We have staff to assist you, but it still doesn't matter. We cannot be responsible. If he sees something's gone a little wrong, he'll fix it right away while you're there. But what happens during post-healing if you're coming on that long trip home and you pulled it or it's just not dropping right or you did nothing wrong and it just didn't drop right? If it do doesn't fix after massage, I can't, we cannot help you. That's the luck of the draw. But I, everybody I know personally has never had a problem with dropping because they listen to me. Now, I will tell you though, I was one of those clients that got uh, really hard. I mean, hard, like, like a board. And I'll never forget, Thea Pong, if you're watching this or Sammy, you, you'll remember. It's been over 10 years uh, with my surgery. So I didn't have anybody tell me and I came in for my checkup and there, <laughs> And these hard balls in front of my chest and and he just looked and the nurses just looked and they went down whoosh, and they were just smashing I mean it was it didn't feel good okay can I just tell you I thought who are these savages and then the doctor came in and he said 
Tina, do you do vitamin C? I said, yeah, I've been doing about two grams a day. It's too much. No, 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 it's pushing implant. It's pu and then I looked it up and he's right. So yes, I do want you doing vitamin C. I do um, uh, very much so. I was cutting it back on people, but no, you girls all need vitamin C. You're not doing what I was doing. I was doing a few grams. My mother was with me because she was a holistic um, nutritionist too. So she had me doing literally glasses of it all day. And then, yeah, my body's very healthy. I, I have extraordinary bloods and everything. So it just was going and get this out of here. And you so hard. So I just kept in, and I also was having a masseuse come in there every day and massage them. So that I went a little crazy, but that's where we learn. I went too much. I always do everything too much, too strong. So you don't need massage every day, but you know, do, do what the doctor says. I was doing like an hour breast massage. Um, and they all drop. I, I, I work out a lot, so I have more stronger muscles. So it took a little longer for me. I think six months I was sore. Let's talk about uh, people that had tummy tucks. Now I haven't done any, uh, tummy tugs or any of that. So I wouldn't know exactly how it feels, but I've had four babies naturally, so that wasn't fun. Um, your muscles are gonna be really sore. You're gonna swell up. I mean, you're gonna, and the, and the worse your health is, the more you swell. Because if you're laying down and your body's not used to being fluid and you're not doing a lot of vegetables and fruits, things are gonna get stuck and get up, walk around, walk down to the pool, put your feet in the, in the pool, try to just get moving. That doesn't mean going to the um, markets all day in, in 90 degree heat, whatever you call it over here, 40 or 35 or something. You have to make sure you're protecting those surgeries. Do you know the bras, they rub against them, the, the pants, the, the wound and the dirt, the pollution and crap's getting in them. So it doesn't matter how much we're cleaning, helping you clean them or you're cleaning them or whatever. There's a good chance you're going to get infection if you're overdoing it. Your body's healing it. Let it heal. Take it nice and easy. Walk around. Go to the pool. Sit in the shade. Have a, a juice. They have juicing at, at the shock room if we're still there. I think so. Um, take care of yourself. That doesn't mean going off and partying and shopping all day. And then you come back and you start getting a, a wound. Uh, an infection. There's nothing I can do about it when you when you push yourself that way. We have you on a protocol of antibiotics, painkillers, um, the swelling for inflammation. He watches everything, and if you need something different, he'll adjust it. And if you have a special um, prescription you want to bring down, get a note from your doctor, bring it in. Make sure our doctor knows you're doing it. Make sure you're you're aware of your allergies. Make sure you get your EKG, ECG before you come, your full blood. Make sure your health is in order because they're going to take it all there and they'll turn you away if you're ill. So make sure you're healthy. We tell you this with our client liaisons. We tell you on the website, but it's your job to make sure you're healthy for surgery. Because once you get there, we have a dilemma if you can't um, do it. I can't wait until the last minute when we hold up the doctor and then you... That's why we say get all your bloods done, get that EKG, ECG, make sure you're ready to go, make sure you're super healthy, make sure you have your after garment. Yeah, we give you temporary ones, but that, that's, get your stuff ready. But can you buy it there? Yes. Can you take it nice and easy for a few days? I'd like you to take it nice and easy. Just get up a little bit, put the air conditioner, they got great air conditioners. Put the air conditioner on. Order a little room service. You can have my staff call in for your breakfast to have it. Don't you do it, otherwise you get charged room service. Have it brought up. Little things like that. We can make sure to make your life easier. Don't put additional stress. I know you're gonna to wanna to meet all the ladies. Some ladies will sail through this and I have a problem, never complain a second. Then you're gonna have some that come cry and complain and whine. Don't compare yourself. Everybody's different. I want you have the best opportunity to have the best success based on you. If you need a little bit more help, we'll help you. The other one, if she's sailing through it like a superstar, don't get jealous. Just say, what is she doing? Oxygen, fruits, juicing, vegetables, lean protein, moving around, what your thoughts are. If you Sorry about that. I, I, um, I was losing... Um, space on the, the mobile okay so we've discussed make sure you know what you're getting before you're going investigate it all i you know the best thing is i really like you to see a local doctor 
you can see a how much it really is b how the, they don't tell you the truth completely like a facelift in, in uh, Gold Coast, I think they say sometimes seven, ten thousand dollars but it's just a skin removal on the, on the face. It's not deep level, it's not the S, uh, MAS, and it's not the neck, uh, it, it's not all these things, not the temporal. And then if you get a quality surgeon like Dr. Thea Pong, it's like 50,000, just so you know that. If you write everything to, and compare apples to apples, there's a lot of bait and switch stuff that goes on. So it's important that you know what you're getting, the difference, how to prepare for it. Read our guides, talk to your account person. Make sure that she generally or he has explained everything to you that you have a question on. Go see a local doctor, look up on the internet, but don't believe all that crap you read on, on the internet. For It scares you, like people that think that we cut breast muscles. I'll tell you right now, Dr. Thea Pong's dead against it. You know how easy it is to do that? Snip, snip, drops perfectly, nothing to worry about. You cut it. It's not going to get caught. It's fantastic. Looks good first week. You have a cut muscle, and then, then what? what? What about when you get older? That's a cheap way of doing it, and a lot of cosmetic surgeons do that. But Dr. Thea Pong does it. He likes to put it behind if he can. That's his favorite. Now, in front is a nice way too. Uh, it's going to be a lot jigglier. It's going to be a lot more natural and it drops right away. It's, it is easier. The support, if you don't have, if you're very saggy, you have to be careful. You have to go with a larger one and speak to them. But it is a nice natural look, but there's no support and you, you have to be prepared for that. But you can imagine behind the muscle, the stronger your muscles are, it's flattened. So when it's healing and it gets all that sinewy scar tissue, it's sticking like a flat thing. And high profile sticks up anyways. And the reason for that, over time, your breasts get lower and lower and, and saggier and saggier. And so you can have a good look for the first few years and a crap look for the next 8, 20. Or you could just go with it, massage them, let them drop naturally. And then they'll last a long, long time. But you don't need to worry about his work ever. His work is precise and beautiful. My work is precise and beautiful. All the staff at Azurite is precise and beautiful and very ethical. What you need to worry about is if you did the right things after, because I can't help you heal. I can't tell you what to wear when you, or I can't tell you don't go out. I can only give you ideas. And in the unlikelihood that, in the likelihood that something bad happens, stuff happens. You ever go get Botox and make you sign your whole life away for about 20 minutes? I can't promise you 100% that you're not going to have a problem. That's why you get the insurance because you can never ever think that Azurite would be responsible, nor would the doctor. He would do a revision if it's his fault, but he fixes it before you leave anyways. And I don't really think he makes mistakes. I, I really don't because he's so conservative and he knows what you can do and what you can't do for your body. Listen to him. I mean, listen to his advice. Don't don't stretch him. Don't tell him to do things that he 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 says no, and he does that. That means no. Not maybe. Can I talk him into it? Listen to him. He knows best. Tummy tucks. A full tummy tuck. We never lipo your stomach. And if I hear one more person saying that and, and coming to me, I'm gonna spank you. Okay? They cut it out. You'll bleed to death if you were to do both. Why? They just cut it out anyways. You're opened up. Cut it, so it sews you up like a course. Opens you up. Cuts the fat out. Cuts the excess skin. Starts in the top. Pulls the skin down. This is a good question. The higher your belly button. He doesn't want to put your belly button up high. Wait. He, he's an expert surgeon. He does that when your skin is too thin. Down there. Look at your skin, older women. Your skin gets thinner and thinner. The lower your belly is. And if you've had prior surgeries, if you had babies, if you lost a lot of weight, the skin is thin, you could have been born that way. I mean, he knows, he looks at your body, the, that when he pulls his skin down, he's sewing and you're hunched over, and he has to know when you finally stand up that that's not going to rip apart. Like if you, any of you know how to sew, the fabric has to be strong to adhere to. So, 
He, he starts that lower incision where he knows your belly can handle it. If you've got a really strong skin and he can go down lower, you tell him, I want to go low, he'll tell you. But he know, he's not going to put a scar up further because it's not easier. He's making sure you're safe. H have you seen those stories on the internet when people split open? Have you seen them? It happens. We don't have those problems ever. The only problem we we'll occasionally get is someone that gets an infection. They're not doing what, what we tell you to do. If you do what we tell you to do, you will not get an infection. Keep it clean, Use bring your own Benadine. They come in and help you. Don't go off shopping. Stay inside, air conditioning. Don't shower until they tell you. Listen to him. Keep a healthy diet. People that are healthy don't get infections. And I don't care what who wants to go against that on me. People that are healthy, fight it off and spit it out. That's, that's the way it goes. If you're not unhealthy, your, your body doesn't know how to handle and, and it starts attacking itself. So just listen to me. I want you to be beautiful. I want perfect surgeries. But if you don't listen, it's not going to work out. So, breast, if you're getting implants, get the insurance. Because that's the most important. Face, I never worry about someone's face. I, I have never seen a face problem. Face problems don't happen. Um, we had one client about six years ago that had several, I think, multitude of surgeries from problems with her face. She had some uh, uh, damage, nerve damage, because she already had. But it all went away eventually. But we knew that was going to happen. No one else wanted to touch it, but we, we uh, were able to, to do a beautiful job. Norm, normal faces, no problems. You're never going to have problems. And I've never seen any long-term anyways. Those are the easiest. Faces are the easiest. Easiest on the doctor, too, because they're tiny. So they're just right there, little, not big people that they go around and lots of weight and push. Faces are easy for them. This is one of the easiest surgeries for them. Breasts are easy, too. It's just that they're one of my least favorite because I have to watch the client go through the, the healing. And if she doesn't listen to me or something goes... Um, the shifting of the, of the implant and stuff. Like I was telling my eyelash woman, push them together. Push them down. They're starting to go out this way. She hasn't even seen a doctor. It's been two weeks. It's just breast, breast implant. It's very barbaric in Australia, so I don't know who's telling you these uh, great thoughts, unless you're paying twenty, twenty-five thousand just for implants. Um, so listen to us. Uh, on the surgeries, I do give discounts. That's my decision, not your decision. If I, it depends if I um, have the the uh, the scope to do it. I, I I think about it and I talk with the doctor. I know his his idea and I protect him. I protect you. It's not going to me. I mean, I'd rather have it go to me now, wouldn't I? So, all right. So we talked about knowing your surgeries, having your post garments, having your passport, having travel insurance. All these little things. I can't do anything if something goes with, wrong with your airplane uh, being laid or your um, your even our taxi driver. I can't do anything about it. We're not. We can't be responsible. It's it, illegal for us to be responsible when you're in a foreign country. We cannot. We can only try our best to educate you and empower you, give you the proper insurances. I can never ever help you financially if you have to go back. I just can't. I'd be broke for, for, uh, for another reason. You need to get that insurance. You, Yeah, I will be t honest. I think 70% of you don't, and, and nine times out of 10, that's fine. But there had been a few that had to go back for, uh, uh, have we? Or were we talking about a couple going back? Well, they're going to go back. They haven't yet. Um, they have to take care of it. I, am, I can't, I'll help you with staff helping you with that, but that's all. And generally the doctor, like with capsular contracture, we will, um, he will try to do it in his clinic and he generally doesn't even charge you for that. But if you have to go into the hospital, you gotta pay for that. I, it's nothing to do with us. He tries his best to help you with that. He's very, very good. I trust him more than any man in my life. Yeah, you heard me. Um, I do. And I know, and my children do too, all my staff knows, his word is his word, my word is my word. But you have to understand the limitations of what we're doing. I'm trying everything to give you everything to make your dreams come true, but you've got to at least listen to me, do what I say. 
use our travel agent. She's phenomenal. I think she works like me, fast, weekend, nights. She hasn't been lately because she hasn't had a real travel agency. You know, everybody's been shut down. But we're getting back up. She'll be there again for you. Get all that taken care of. Make sure you have the proper insurances. You're taking good care of your health. Uh, for all those people that have done super, that haven't paid, we're going to be calling those in soon because you're going to have to book now. Um, it, it's the law. I'm sorry. Uh, we have to take care of it. We, we give in reports. We, they've been given a um, time off from it, but we do give the, the ATO reports. We aren't like other companies that do these false things and say, oh, why would we dot people in? Well, because it's the law. It's our job to, to when they give us the trust to, to take this money out for you, and you're not using it right. Now, if you did use another doctor, you have to show us that. It's um, because we signed off. The doctor signs off, we sign off. We do the paperwork before the doctor. We have a very good relationship. And, and you, you have to understand this is just the law. So, insurance, passports, um, garments, health. Good, good mindset. I will tell you right now, I have zero tolerance for uh, bad behavior, and, and the reason is I'm a healer. Healers, we think every thought creates your future, so if you're talking negatively about yourself or someone else, that contaminates the group, it contaminates the name. I believe in empowering each other, so if you're in a bad mood, stay home that day, stay in your room. Tell me, uh, not me, no. No, that all has to stop you guys. I cannot be working 24 hours a day anymore it's already starting back up I didn't have a life for like eight years and I appreciate this time off and I'm not going back to doing that you take responsibility for your 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 uh, surgeries you can talk to my staff but most important why you're there talk to the to the nurses and the personal assistants and the doctor so you have all the information you can't be coming to me all day a year later two years later three years later having babies, changes and stuff. I can't do it. It will kill me. I was so tired with, before COVID and I feel really good now and I'm liking my time off. Um, but they still want you happy. But you just can't be holding on to me 24 hours a day. Look, I want everybody to be happy. You know that. But you, the first thing is don't be scared. You got the best. You got the best in the world, I believe. I truly, truly believe that you have the best team with us yeah, the best team of uh, uh, surgeons. And who has staff? No one offers staff like we do. No one. If you want a better hospital, pay for an upgrade. You want a better hotel, pay for an upgrade. That's up to you. But we're giving you extraordinary service. Take advantage of it. Start seeing this as a, a new beginning for you. Um, what else? So tummy tucks, expect anywhere from, depending how much repair we do, it could be up to 18 months till swelling. Liposuction, it's lumpy, swelling, numb. Oh God, it could go on for a long time. I never said that was easy, that's why I don't do it. Go to the gym. But if you're doing it, appreciate it and go with it. Um, make sure you're, you're wearing your garments because the lymphatic drainage is what causes all those problems. Um, it's a quick fix, but you, you are gonna feel it. Liposuction you feel. Um, lifts. Keep them clean. This is the most where all the bacteria comes. That's where all the scars get dirty, and that's where you start going around the aerial. And it's, it's it's take care of it. Clean it. Put the Benadine on it. Take care of it. Even though we doing things, you need to be working with it too. You notice the first little bit of pain. Get on it. Think you're like that girl, oh, my eyelash woman, that has no post care. Didn't even know what to do. At least you have us daily, and you have stuff, and you have. But take responsibility for your healing. We will give you the best. If a problem arises, make sure you have the insurance. There's nothing I can do, nothing. Um, so what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We got the tummy, face, easy. Face, easy, easy, that's easy. Generally, most people over 40 will get a full facelift, mid face, neck, temporal. So, gee, maybe we should do that. Um, Eyes are not part of it if you need that. We don't believe in uh, forehead that much. You've got to have a really low forehead, and, and uh, endoscopic will cause paralysis after five years, so we don't believe in that. So it's usually cutting it. 
Unless you have a low forehead, I wouldn't be really keen about it. I, I'd stay away from that. Let them just do the temporal re the region and the neck. Um, arm lifts from here to here. Sometimes I extend them here. I, uh, if I, it's important that I see when you're doing your, your pictures, we see here. This is bra, bra, bra bulge lift. Nothing to do with a regular lift, and it's nothing to do with a regular arm lift. We will add that in if you request it and pay for it. It's not something that's automatic. It's different parts of the body. Um, so we never liposuction the actual belly on a full tummy tuck, but if you need it on the sides, you'll have an additional charge that you pay for, upper and lower sides of the waist, never the belly. Mini tummy, tummy tuck, yes. So because they're not opening you up, they're just pulling the skin down and, and, and securing. It's a whole different story. So there's no muscle repair. You don't need as much skin, and, um, but it's a, it's a much less surgery. So you're gonna need, if you have any fat there, you're gonna need um, liposuction. Generally, full tummy tuck works out better. Um, uh, but implants, we don't really do them. It's very rare. It's hard to get them in. Uh, they're so strict in Thailand about it and getting them in and, and uh, fat transfer. You remember, you're going to lose fat. You're going to you're going to lose a percentage of it. And he doesn't. And the laws in Thailand are not like in Australia or like in Miami. They only allow 750 cc's. I think you can ask the doctor if it's changed. They're very restrictive on it because it can get necrotic. What's necrotic means? It means death dying black yuck so dr theopong is not going to give you more than that if he does do it you have to come back if you if you want to do more he has to make sure everything's healing it's never perfect but it looks it can look damn good anytime you're doing a fat and if some of it can die uh your body could eat up some of it in general it does pretty good but if you had to come back you have to pay for it Fat, your body eats it up. It depends how much. Generally, a, a good percentage of uh, fat transfer will stay. Face, not as much. Um, depends where he puts it. Can't do much here for people, those women that have these lines. As he can do a little bit. He can't do a lot. That's laser, and that's not our department. I don't even like to get involved in that area. It's too much work. Do it in this country or have, have staff or look it up before you go to get it done. Laser is the outside of the skin. Surgery is the inside. So if you have bad skin and it's all marked up with moles and freckles and sunspots, that's nothing to do with a facelift. He will make it tighter and maybe not as close, but the skin is still marked up. That's laser. Uh, wrinkles, he can, it's like linen versus cotton. He can't, he's only, he's not doing anything to him. And the fat that you're not paying that much for in the first place, it's just to help plump it up. It's not going to be a miracle cure, but it's certainly going to be better if you, than you didn't do it. You're not paying that much for it in the first place. So, I think you all should do it, but that's up to you. I don't want to hear complaining that your lips went away. Everybody says, you know, their lips go away, but yet mine supposedly have 10 years still there, right? So, I don't, I don't understand. So, hey, I never did my uh, bottom lip anyways, but mine's been 10 years, and, and so you have, to, you have to decide what you want to do what what your goal is and realize everybody everybody changes but you have the best surgeon in the in the world and you can trust you take care of yourself after that don't have bad thoughts just say i'm going to heal and i'm going to be great and i'm going to get out there and i'm going to do my job. and everything i promise sandy i'm going to talk about you because you're great liz is too but you're you're older sandy when i first saw her, I was a little concerned she wanted all these surgeries and a little older my age um that woman i'm gonna brag about you sandy because she works out like a crazy woman i didn't know she did all this working out before she went she actually left like 10 days early and we were able to refund her hotel or use it towards her flight back i don't know somehow i just i don't care if i'm not we're not paying for it i'm gonna give it back to you it's when you stay extra i can't you have to pay for it that's why insurance comes in. You gotta stay extra, they'll pay the extra hotel. Whatever your plan is, is your plan. I, if, I, we will not, if something develops out of that, you have to be ready. If you have to come back again, that will be at your cost, your flights, your additional hotel, or unless we uh, 
you left early, but that never happens. I mean, if you stayed your whole stay, you have to return, you have to pay the hotel. Doesn't matter if, if the doctor decided you needed to, to you, you weren't healing. If you're not healing right and he can't do your surgery, your iron's not up, your health isn't there, he's not gonna do it, but you have to come back and you have to pay for it. So that's why it's important. He's not gonna put your life at risk. And it doesn't matter if, if, if it's, you're healing not right and he can't do it, you have to absorb it. That's why we say get the insurance. I can't fix it. I can't, I can't worry about that either. I'm like, you know, I'm a mother of four kids. I freak out when you guys aren't taking care of these things. I worry about you and I don't wanna worry. We have staff to, to help you. We have staff that will uh, uh, call your family or contact in the group chats. You don't need to worry about any of that. You're very safe on that. I am implementing, again, I'm not promising it, but I am implementing my staff stays with you at the hospital. I don't like when, uh, at least in the beginning, uh, while you're going through it. I don't want you to expect it, but I am going to do that because it takes the stress off me, people freaking out in a foreign country. Because, like, surgery can be overwhelming for certain people, and I don't want you overwhelmed. I want you happy. I want you to know that you're in safe hands. Dr. Theopong doesn't talk a lot like he has that humor, sarcasm and stuff. That's why we get along so well. Um, he's incredible. All the staff's incredible. Anesthesiologist, incredible. Um, everybody is. I love our hotels. I am looking at resorts now. I haven't given up. Al Ali's looking at them right now in Kosumi for the health resorts and stuff. If I can swing it, I might even have you guys uh, stay there that are on packages. You just have to pay your flight to get in there. That'd be cool. And I'll be there a lot too. Guess what? We're opening back up. Life is going to be happening again. Okay, so what else? What else? Um, so tummy tucks, butt lifts. You're going to be sore for a bit. you got to be careful with that. Uh, keep keep it dry. Keep a Benadine uh, solution with you, saline solution. Ask the doctor, can I put this on? The more the more moisture hits it, the more tendency, it, especially if it's back there, that's where people will get them. They had a butt lift and eight million other surgeries. Keep it clean. In between, the, uh, do it yourself. Um, okay, so we got breasts, we got belly, light bulb, yes, or wear your uh, things. Uh, remember, on arm lifts and thigh lifts, they only go down a certain level. If you, for some reason, want to go a little further, you can't go in where it's movement. If it's, he'll keep it at a certain level, because if it's moving, I notice on the clients that have talked them into it, which I don't like, but have talked them into going a little lower, they have more problems. You have more, because your, your knee's moving. That's why he doesn't do it. We'd rather have less movement. Thigh lifts, oof. Thigh lifts. We are, since we only can cut inside this area, inside the thigh, we can't grab the outside and the inside because then you'd have a big uh, line there. So they're not as strong. They're never gonna be as great as, like a tummy tuck, usually pretty damn good, right? It's, it's, a, it's a good, solid look. Um, facelifts are a really good, solid look. Uh, regular breast lifts, easy. Do fat transfer if you if your breasts are um, you got good fat tissue in there just do a little fat transfer plumping it you don't need to do implants that's easier you will lose part of them but just do that do what's easier um, uh, fat transfer you know your body will eat up some of it depends on you can't tell you always and depending where he gets it from and where he puts it in. Um, if you do have it and, and it take it out of a certain area, if you're older, could get a little bit of skin, could be uh, loose there. It, a lot of times it tightens up. It doesn't take out a lot, but hopefully you're already having another surgery and we can fix it then. Um, revision breast, I hate. When you've been to other doctors and you've done things, I hate. Can I tell you it again? I hate. I don't even like to do breast anymore. They're pain in my ass. Um, because they're never big enough, they're too small, they're too high, they're too low, they're too, they're, you know, it's like never good. And then girls keep doing it, my person I know locally, she's done five treatments, not for us. Um, so, listen to the doctor. If you had a question, like a, a, a question like where does it go, you can write that to me still because you haven't gone yet. Um, if you need more, we'll tell you. He also would make uh, the choice when you're there, if you can't go as far, 
That doesn't mean you're going to get money back for that, though. Don't don't think that. Sometimes you can go a little further. If it's not a major time, he'll do it at no extra cost. But go easy on my doctor. I mean, you know, he's a great man. We don't want to kill him. Um, your kids are going to want to use him when. <laughs> so, um, so we did butt, we did thigh, we did tummy, we did arms, we did face. Brow bulge, a new end thing. A lot of women are doing that. Um, look, you got the best surgeon in the world as far as I'm concerned. Dr. Thede's extraordinary too. Now that we're going to get busy, I'll have to grab him or ask Dr. Thea Pong his suggestion. Get your health in order. Get excited. Yay, yay, yay. We're starting to travel again. Get your insurance. Get your garments. Get your passport ready. Your vaccines ready. We got every vaccines ready. Right now, I don't know what the rules are yet. I'm waiting to have it that you just take the test and maybe a couple of days you're waiting, but um, I'm still waiting. I don't want any weight, real weight on that side or this side. But for now, oh, remember you can bring a free companion. Just, I have to know because we pay for the breakfast and I had to put that on the, on the list. Um, meaning that they can stay in the hotel and the hospital with you. They just stay on a, a, a loungy type couch, but it's free. We pick up the buffet breakfast, but they have to stay with you. We don't pay for them to go back and forth in taxis and that crazy stuff. Go easy on us. We're trying to make you happy. Um, positive attitude. So I think that's about it. Sorry, it's my the files are just going crazy on my phone. I think that's it. I think um, I've answered everything for you and, and what you need and how exciting it is. And and um, I'm just happy to be with you all. And, and, and I'm sorry if I had to come down a little hard, uh, but you have to, to understand you're still doing surgery. It doesn't matter how great I am or he's great. We, you have to take responsibility and know where the responsibilities lie. Um, I adore you all, and I hope to see most of you at one time. Um, and um, congratulations on your staying this long, and it sounds like we might even start up by uh, December. But he's just talking about that now, your uh, prime minister, rest of the country. I just have to cross your fingers and um, start getting back some normalcy and, and excitement. So. Let's go team. Talk to you soon.